welcome back to another It's Wonky Studio Vlog. I'm Jamie, I am the maker behind It's Wonky, and I make pottery at home. I'm working towards opening my online shop in the next month. Last week, if you saw my last video, I basically have everything made now, and now I just need to fire and glaze. So that's probably what this video will consist of. <laughs> a lot of transporting pieces, a lot of kiln time, and hopefully some glazing, and maybe even some finished pieces. Like, that would be cool. I have a commission that I have to start probably tomorrow, just for a couple of mugs. So, since I have a lot of bisque already, I'm going to try and knock that out so that I don't, I can put that in this load of stuff when I fire next week. It's Saturday and I'm enjoying a slow day. We'll get back to work on Monday and I'll see you then. One piece of work that I am doing today is packing these up so I can take them to my kiln at my parents' house.
Happy Monday. I am taking a little break after throwing, as you saw. I haven't thrown at home in a minute, and it was really short and sweet, and I was just making some mug bodies for some mugs that I'll hopefully trim and handle, if not later today, tomorrow. All the rest of the stuff I took to my kiln yesterday to finish drying, and I'll add these to the batch and fire in a few days. And I'm pumped. It's like all coming together and it's pretty cool. I'm also going to go to the craft store today because I decided that I wanted to paint on some tote bags and add those to the shop too versus selling like print on demand ones. I just wanted to do something else that um I wanted to do something else that was like creative but still handmade and quirky and yeah just match the whole vibe of the collection of stuff that I'm making that wasn't pottery and I decided that making some canvas totes and not making getting some canvas totes and painting on them would be really fun so I love like doodling like major thin line work and pretty carefree and fun and that's what I'm gonna put on some totes all of the designs I have are pottery related. It feels really childlike and playful and I just need that right now. And it was sweet because the other night I was hanging out with my seven, eight year old niece. I don't know, she's literally my inspiration for most things in life. But we were just doodling, switching back and forth between my iPad and my notebook and yeah, I just love ideas that feel like the kid in me is alive and well, but I as an adult am able to like fine tune those things and bring these like little baby dreams to life. And this feels like one of them. My younger self would have totally wanted to do this. My younger self did this <laughs> um, in a lot of ways. I was endlessly fabric painting things. So it's cool to now add that touch of me from the past into this present collection. That's my activity for today. Hopefully it will go over well and I'm kind of a freehand girl but I think I'm gonna need to not be that loosey-goosey with it. Happy Monday. See you soon.
Hello, at the kiln, happy to be here. Everybody looks dry and ready to go. I have a couple of things that I'm going to use under glaze on really quick before I put them in and then just let them dry out in the sun for a little bit. I haven't done that before, so hopefully it goes over well. And I can't wait to see these when they're, <laughs> yeah, all done. I'm pretty excited about this batch. They feel really fun and I was trying to fall asleep last night, but <laughs> all that was in my mind was all the things that I wanted to glaze or like how I wanted to glaze everything. So that was fun. That's it for this week. I will be back next time with lots of glazing and firing and hopefully some really awesome finished pieces. And then I can start photographing and get ready to put these online and hopefully sell to people. I finished kind of prepping all of the listings with like all of the details that I want on everything. And then I just have to input the weight how much like it holds and then like the sizes like dimensions so i feel good about that and i got the layout where i want it and i think i figured out the shipping we'll see <laughs> i decided to go by weight per piece which just is more time consuming but i think will pay off in the end i'm a little nervous but you don't know till you try and so here i am trying <laughs> thanks for coming along i'll see you next time